Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video we will be completing the crowd section of this categories which means that today we will be doing the updating part of this category. So currently if we click on this edit button so it is saying that bad method call exception the edit method does not exist so let us create a edit method there. So in I am currently in this categories controller so here now we want to create edit method and here we will accept category and we will return this categories create the same view because we will be using the same view for both create and edit. So now let me return this but here now we must return the category model and how to differentiate between this create and edit in the view. So for that also we need to pass some parameters. So here let's say here edit false and here let's say edit as true. And now here we also need to pass the category. So we will say here new category resource and we will pass the category and now if you look inside the category over here resource so it is just returning the two array which means everything that is present in the categories table will be passed to the view which means that the category will receive an object so I will show you that now let me go to this again and let me open the console also and now let me click on this edit button. So you can see here we are now redirected to this edit page and you can see here we are seeing here add category and save here. We want to change this to update and this to edit category. So now if we currently look in this view dev tools. So here if we go here in the component, add component, we are not seeing anything in the props. This is because we are not accepting the prop in the Vue.js file. So now if we go here in this categories create view. So now here we need to accept the props. So let's say here props and we want edit category as object. Now if we see here in the create component now you can see here we are getting this edit and category as the props. So you can see here we are getting this category as an object. So to make things consistent let us also return an object from the category create method because we are accepting the category here. So and this view is for both create and edit. So if we go here in the categories controller we can return an object from here like this. Let's say category and we can say here like this object so array will be casted into an object now let us make this edit category and this as update so we have to do that here so let's do it like this and in place of the add we will say here if this dot edit then we will say here edit else we will say here add and in place of the save over here we will add it into a span and we'll say save and update so if edit it will be update else it will be save similarly for the saved one so you can see here these things are now changed if I go in categories and click on add new. So you can see here uh, add category and save is here and if I go here in the categories and click on this edit button then it is showing me accordingly. Now we want the name and slog to be filled whenever we visit the edit page. So for that we have to assign the data that is coming in this category if I show you here. In this category data object we need to assign these to the form object so the form object is over here so we need to assign it there now let's do that in the mounted hook 
we'll say here mounted if this dot edit so if it is not edit we don't want to do that only in the case of edit we want to do that so for that we'll say here this dot form dot name equals to this dot category dot data dot name so if you see here it is inside the category data and name so we are doing this and similarly for the slog let's do this now if you see here we can see both the name and the slog over here now let's see what happens when we click on update so it is saying that the slog has already been taken so let's see what is happening over here so if we go here so whenever we click on this update it will submit this form and whenever it submits a form it calls this save category method and we are calling the store method over here for the edit as well so because of that it is saying this because if you look here in the categories controller in the store method here we are adding this unique rule so because of that it's happening here so in case of edit we don't want to store we want to update so in case of edit we'll say this dot form dot put route and we'll say here categories dot update and we'll say here id is equals to this dot category dot data dot id and otherwise we'll use this store one so let me fix this typo also if you are thinking from where did i get this categories dot update then we can see that over here if i say php artisan route list grip categories so this grip will filter only the categories route here so if you see here we can get here categories dot update and this will call this put request and it will call update method on this categories controller so let us now define this update method as well in the categories controller so let's say here update we need this request as well as we need this category over here because if you see here so it is accepting this category as a parameter so we have to pass this here now we need to update the category for that so let us validate it we'll for now let us copy this and we'll extract this into a separate class so here everything rules will be same except here we'll ignore this category id so if i do not add this ignore line then it will be same as that previous rule and again if we try to update here it will say the slog has already been taken so while editing this category we want to ignore this slog now we need to update this we already have this category over here now let's say here category update and let's say data here so this data will only contain this name and slog which means that whatever fields are being validated those fields will only be present in this data and we will update that from here and now let's copy this message from here and let's paste it over here and let's say category updated successfully now if we go here and let's say the category 2 like this and let us click on update so now you can see here it is saying the category updated successfully and you can see here the category has been changed to the category 2 now let's try to update this the third category as well so if i click in here edit and the third category updated and if i click here on update so you can see here this has been updated successfully so now we have successfully updated the category so if you see here in this table this is kind of empty so let us add one more column here let's say created at so let's say here category index over here so here we can pass another column here like this and we can say here name as created date now let us add that over here as well so let's say created at like this 
now you can see here the created date is over here but we don't want this to be displayed like this so let us use the category resource to change this so now let us go to the category resource here and here let us return only the data that we want so we want id this id and we want name and we also want slug and we also want created at but now instead of this data we want different data so let us not change the created at but let us add a new name here created at for human like this and we have a helper method in this created at we, we can say diff for humans like this and we can use this over here now now you can see here we are getting the date like this one week ago two weeks ago like this yeah and it's much better than the previous created ad date so that's it for this video guys and in the next video we will be starting the cross section for the articles which will be much more quicker than this categories one because we have already seen how to do a crowd module so thank you for watching have a great day bye